Welcome to the video covering the externals of the iPad Air. The home button is located on the front at the bottom. This allows you to return to the main screen of your apps. When you double click the home button it will also show you which apps are open allowing you to swipe up and close them. When used in conjunction with the power button it also functions to take a screenshot of what is on the iPad screen. Also located on the front of your device at the very top is a FaceTime camera. This allows you to turn the camera to face you in order to do a recording or capture video or photographs. On the back of your iPad at the bottom, you will find the lightning port cable. This is where your charging cable goes, which is also used to sync to a computer. On the bottom, you will find two external speakers side by side of the lightning port. On the side, you will also find the volume toggle. This will move the volume both for apps and for your ringer and alerts up or down. Above the volume toggle will be the mute slash lock rotation switch. Depending on how you have this set up in your settings, flipping this will allow for muting of the device or to lock the rotation from turning horizontal to vertical. Next is the EyeSight camera. This is the main camera on the iPad and a good rule of thumb is to hold the home button on the right side and then take the picture that way. Next is the power button which is also the sleep or the wake button. Holding it down will allow the iPad to turn off. By simply tapping it once, it will make the screen go black, causing it to go to sleep. Tapping it again when the screen is black will wake it up, allowing you to use the iPad. If the iPad has been powered off, holding down this button will allow it to turn on. The iPad Air has two microphones, one at the very top in the middle, and one on the back in the middle, beside the iSight camera. Finally is the headphone jack. This is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that does require a newer set of headphones with multiple rings on the extension. If you use an older set with only one ring, you will not have any audio that comes out. Thank you for watching this video. Please explore our other videos which will include setting up your iPad, personalizing your iPad, and how to use some of the most dynamic apps out there. Also check out our Google videos to explore Google Classroom, Google Drive, and all the other great things that are offered there.